welcome to my channel. It's my first video, yay. Um, just so you know a little bit about me, my name is Ariana. I am 23 years old. My birthday is February 2nd and I just graduated college. Today's video is going to be 50 random facts about me. So let's just jump right in. So fact number one, I've been a cheerleader competitively since about three years old. Um, it started in grammar school, so shout out to you, Miss Ahern, for putting me on. I've loved cheerleading ever since. Fact number two, I don't know how to do makeup at all. Like, for me, going out, this is my look. Mario Badesco face mist and some Listex, Vaseline, chapstick, whatever. Anything else, I don't know. If you guys have any tips, please comment below and help me go out. Number three, I have stitches in my eyebrow. You can't really see them. I need to get my eyebrows done, so don't look too close. Um, there's maybe about nine of them in there. Uh, my flyer, my sophomore year of high school, loved to do double downs with her elbows like this. And she would twist like this. <laughs> and one day she just landed smack dab into the middle of my eyebrow split my entire eyebrow open i had to get stitches obviously um luckily though there was a plastic surgeon on call so he just fixed my eyebrow right up you can't even see it until my eyebrows grow out that's me so there's like a little line that's like missing a patch of hair I did have a cute little pet duck his name was chester young um he died because i dropped him the vet said he broke his leg and it caused him to be depressed. I didn't know animals got depressed. Um, I don't know, I don't know if they could do like a test to find that out, but poor little Chester, he was so cute. We used to like just put him down behind us and run and he just waddle like this right behind us across the room. Um, I miss him. My favorite colors are blue, as you can see. My room is like a bluish green. That's my favorite color. I do have a lot of allergies. The main one is seasonal. So it's basically just I'm allergic to grass and trees, specific trees though, but I don't know how to tell, like, there's an oak tree. I have to sleep with the TV on. If it's off, I won't go to sleep. And it has to be on Nickelodeon with cartoons, like bright, fluorescent, loud cartoons. I don't care if I'm asleep and you want to turn off the TV, I will wake up immediately if the TV is off. I'm going back to school for anesthesiology. I did just graduate St. Peter's University with my bachelor's in criminal justice and a minor in psychology and business law. But I mean, it's never, you can never have too many trades and different things. It's just good to have those plans, you know? I am a super procrastinator, but I do always get things done. Like starting this YouTube, I was supposed to do it like two years ago. I told my friends this year that I'll post in February and Surprise, right on time, February 1st, holla at me. My family calls me Little Bear ever since I was little because of these hairy little arms. If you guys are wondering why I'm looking over here, I'm recording with my phone, so I had to like go old school and print out my facts. So that's why I'm looking at the side. Um, anywho, I'm obsessed with food. Like anyone who knows me knows that I eat like an NFL linebacker. Like I can eat a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, my favorite food though, I would say pizza, big ZD2, rice, like if I'm not in the mood to eat, which I mean I'm always in the mood to eat, but like if I'm ever like in the mood not to eat, which is rare, put some pizza in front of me and I will devour it immediately, the whole time. I have to eat gummy bears heads off first before I eat them, just because I don't know, I feel like they can feel it. So I just like rip the bandaid off and like bite their heads off first. That way, like get a little with them. They don't feel anything, so I can just enjoy the rest of their body. I am lactose intolerant, so I don't have any control over like my facial expressions. I like some people have like a slick mouth or I don't know a bad attitude. I can say like I can censor myself, but my face will tell it all. Like that's the only thing. Like I will say one thing, my face will be like. I love getting my lashes done. I just started maybe like last year. Um, the thing is like I rip them off <laughs> for some reason. Like, I get the individual ones and then during the day I'll sit there and I'm just like, and I'll look at them like, I don't know if you guys can see it now, but I have like maybe six lashes left. I'm going to get them redone this week. So in the next video, I promise you'll be back. But for right now, we're gonna do my six lashes for this video and I'm gonna take it. 
I've never had the chicken pox. Um, I got vaccinated when I was little. Like all my friends, I'm like, oh, when I had the chicken pox, it was so itchy. It's on the third. Never experienced it. So tip number one, vaccinate your kids. You don't need diseases like the measles coming back. So. For some reason, and it's so dumb now that I think about it, I really thought that shows in different languages, like if we had like the same shows in like America and have a different country, I thought they refilmed it in that language. Like for instance, Blue's Clues. I thought they like redid it with someone who spoke Spanish. But I found that it's a voiceover, which seems, it makes more sense. It saves a lot more time, but nope. I thought they had new characters, like. <laughs> for my calendar, I'm not really organized. Like I'm a disorganized, organized person. I don't know, I know where everything is. Like my room is neat, but chaotic at the same time. But if you ask me where it is, I know where it is, so. But for some reason with my calendar, if I need to cross off the date that day, I don't care about it. But in order for me to go on to the next month, I have to stand there and cross off every single day before I flip it. I don't care if it's like February 9th. I will still have January up and then I'll stand there and cross them off and then I'll flip it and then I'll cross off the ones I have in February. But I probably won't do it for the rest of the month until it's time to flip to March. I've always been extremely talkative. Like I used to get like letters sent home and my seat moved. I talked to anyone, so when it's Momo see, I was like, okay, now I have a new friend, so, hi, who are you? What do you like to do? We're friends now. Extremely clumsy. I trip over gravity, so I should probably be in a bubble somewhere because it's dangerous to myself and to others. Um, I'm a picture hoarder. I will not throw out pictures. <laughs> like, in my phone, if I don't have space, I'm putting it on my computer, and then, Luckily, I haven't had to delete anything from there yet, but I dread that day coming. I guess I'll get like an external hard drive. I have pictures from like 1970 and I wasn't even born, so. I used to want glasses so, so bad. Like I, my siblings had them, my parents had them, my friends had them. I would purposely like wear all their glasses like for an extended period of time so I can mess my eyes up and now I have to wear glasses and I hate it. Like people really wake up with 2020 vision. And I really used to be one of them and I took that for granted. I have a really bad stutter, like you probably heard it in one of the facts, I don't know. But I'm not embarrassed by it, it's me. Some people are like, oh, you should go to speech therapy for it. No, I can control it. If I talk slower, you don't hear it. But if I'm really excited about like a story, oh, that stutter is intense. We're gonna be like, time out, rewind, what'd you say? I hate sweets especially like chocolate, chocolate bars, chocolate cake. I don't, mm -mm, chocolate ice cream, just mm -mm. But for oddly enough, I do love brownies, which is strange. I don't even know what fact we're on. Um, I love being social, like I have a really big family. I'm a, the youngest out of five siblings. Four, I'm, I'm number five. <laughs> so I have four siblings, I'm the youngest. But either way, I love being social. Like, you have a really big family, you have parties over here all the time, my friend's always over. I have a really bad shopping problem. I buy like compulsively. It's, I, I won't even realize that I'm like doing it. Like I'll be bored, I'm like, mm, what do they have today? Oh, my cards have $300. Check out. And I won't wear it, like I have, I ordered like, maybe now, I wanna say maybe, a hundred items from like Fashion Nova, I haven't worn in my in my like my dresser, my closet, tags on them. I just like getting new stuff. I never wear it. Um, I probably do like a haul or something on here, like a lookbook, whatever. If you want to see that, just see that. If you want to see that, um, <laughs> just let me know. Comment below again, and I'll just make some time for it. Mm -hmm. Series twice. My favorite character is Renesme, and that's the last book, but. Love her, love her energy when she came out and she was only a baby, so she's, I want to see the couch she turned out. They need to make another book and write about that. I want to know like, how's her life going? Like sis, how are you? Mm. I'm super interested in like the behavior of people. That's why I studied criminal justice and psychology, things like serial killers, stuff like that. Super interests me. Like I want to know the why about it. Like what drove you to that? How did you start? Like that's, I love that. I love that. Um, I hate the quiet, which refers back to me sleeping with the TV on and being social. I hate the quiet. I hear like random noises and I'm just like, you heard that? When I was little, I thought I was like a Powerpuff girl. I was bubbles. My sister was like 
Blossom and my other sister Erica was Buttercup. I have zero rhythm. If the dance is not choreographed, I cannot do it. And all those cool hip dances that are like trending on like Instagram, what like kids are doing, I'm there like, like teach me. But in like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or else I can't do it. I love reading because of like school and working. I haven't been able to like do much, but I like challenge myself this year to read one book a month. I know it's not like much, but to start. So this month I am reading Becoming by Michelle Obama. I was supposed to skip kindergarten. I was like a baby genius or whatever. Um, but my mom decided not to. She's like, oh, she's had people skills. She doesn't like share. Need her to stay in kindergarten so she'll learn that. She can't have it her way at all times. Still so cute. I couldn't skip. <laughs> Back to when I didn't get my way. I used to try to run away all the time. <laughs> But like I was like maybe like seven and I'll just pack my stuff like my easy bake oven, my pets, so and like try to go out so I'm like, I'm leaving. I have I'm leaving. I don't wanna be here. And I'll literally just sit on my porch. I parents like, okay, like do you have a plan on the I got it, I got it all figured out. I know what I'm doing. And I would sit on the porch for like two minutes tops. I bought my first car when I was twenty. And then when I was twenty one I crashed it. <laughs> in like the fifth grade my mom called the cops because she thought I was missing it was the first day I was ever allowed to walk to school by myself it was like fifth grade because she really didn't let me walk to school when I was younger. whatever well it was the first time I was able to walk to school by myself and the last because so I went super late I went to my friend's house first and I waited for her to get dressed and then we walked to school and I knew I was late so I didn't want to go to the office to get detention I just like snuck upstairs to my classroom and sat down. And I forgot they call your parents if you're not in school. So they called my, they called my house, my dad answered, they called my mom. She called my cell phone, but I mean, I'm a good kid obviously, so I didn't use my phone in school. So she thought I was kidnapped and called the cops. The cops came to school looking for me. I was never allowed to walk to school myself until maybe my junior year of high school. Um, sometimes if I count for too long, accidentally start counting backwards like people are like oh if you're tired and you can't go to sleep count sheep they count the same sheep because they count backwards so that doesn't work for me i currently have three tattoos and 10 piercings not a lot i do want more tattoos i have them planned so i'll get them done in the future maybe i'll include you guys in the corner who knows i'm currently learning spanish and tagalo um for some reason, those two like interest, interest me. My sister-in-law is from the Philippines, and my best friend is from the Dominican Republic. So I don't know, I kinda, it just makes me feel like closer to them if I learn it, and it's really interesting, so I'm teaching myself. If any like you think I should know any like, specific words in either of those languages, comment below, and I'll learn them throughout their meaning, film them with a little sentence, you know. In grammar school, I used to, I, I thought I was so cool doing this too. I used to wear, two polos, two different colors, just. The shirt would be one color and then I'll fold the collar and it'll be a different color and I was like, saw how I did that? Like, now that I think, I don't know who let me leave the house like that. That was not a good idea. That's two shirts, so that's extra laundry, extra water, detergent, like, I was a waste of clothes. My favorite ice cream flavor is from Cold Salt and it's a mint, mint chocolate chocolate chip. But since I don't like chocolate, I have them take out the chips and then they throw in like brownies or gummy bears. That's my fave. Like, I'll eat that all day. I used my brother's crutches when, when he broke his foot and then a week later I sprained my ankle. So I think I jinxed myself. And I was so mad because it was March Madness in school. That's my favorite time of the month. Like my favorite time. And I couldn't even participate because I had a sprained ankle. My wrist has been sprained since my sophomore year of high school. I graduated college. That's like what? six seven years and it was because like it was cheer season you don't really have time to be out like it was competitive i'm a competitive person i don't have time to be out and now i'm an adult so i mean it's pointless now i've dealt with it this long there's no need for me to get it fixed so whatever i'm obsessed with twitter it is my favorite app like if i'm not doing anything like if i'm in the car like going the uber i'm definitely on twitter and i'll be in the back hysterically crying don't even care i'm like you want to know what happened on twitter because it's hilarious like 
people are so funny like the captions are so clever like it's just a good time on twitter i love it i've never really believed in like santa or the tooth fairy just because i'm a very logical person and i know for a fact no one would be in my house to leave me presents or money plus my parents would be like too airy love mom and dad so hello santa thank you i don't like driving on bridges on bridges at all for some reason there's a little voice in my head it's like let go of the wheel i absolutely don't do it that's not how i crash my car if you're wondering but it freaks me out so i just it, like i start sweating i'm like my parents thought i was gonna be a boy um my name was gonna be nathaniel which is funny because my nephew's name is nathaniel now but it always throws me off because all of my siblings have like backup names that they're like the opposite gender so like erica would have been eric like, courtney and spencer their names would have been the same but christina would have been christian Nathaniel Ariana. I should have been like Natalie Natasha or something. Ariana, where'd that, where'd that come from? I mean, I love my name, but I'm just ready to come from. I still have my favorite blankie. Um, I've had it for not since I was little because it was my sister's blanket when she was little. Um, I mean, her are like best friends, and I loved it. So since she loved it so much, I wanted to love it too. Um, she gave it to me when she went to college. And it's still my favorite blankie. I love it so much. Like when she gave it to me when she left for college, I cried for like a week straight holding it. She's my best friend, so I hated her being away, but I still sleep with it. Love you, sis. I stuck my finger in a pencil sharpener. Like it wasn't the electric ones, but the ones that you like twist yourself. Um, I thought that if it could make the point of a pencil longer, my nails would get longer. But I left my fingers bloody and my nails shorter than it was, so back at square one. I really believe that like everything happens for a reason if it's for you it'll be for you if not then something good would happen like everything something everything leads to something so even if like bad things happen it you have to find a silver lining in it you can't just be sad and depressed i mean yeah you can be upset in the moment but everything happens for a reason so just hold on and see what that reason is um just a little bonus i was electrocuted when i was seven i will save that for story time <laughs> done so already just like and subscribe comment below if you want to see anything if you have any ideas if not then i'll see you in my next video next week